Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your November 2018 general reading. It's a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Sun, Moon, Rising, Libra. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Happy Halloween. Happy belated birthday, Libra. Let's jump into it. So, for some of my couple of Libras, you're going to just choose to cut your losses. You try to make a relationship work, maybe with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It's, it's just not working. And um, But you'll be having like some improving health. Health-related issues improve. But at the same time, the, the, um, the love is just stagnant. You've tried... You've even gone to counseling and all that stuff. And it just, this person wants to be elsewhere or you do. So, that's that. Uh, my single Libras. It looks like you're just really trying to get off that hamster wheel of doing the same thing over and over again with the same people. And it looks good. Um, it looks like you're really trying to manifest what it is you want. You're using everything in you. To get newness and uh, clarity. Some single levers. Okay. The Ace of Wands showing up. It's on the bottom of that pile. So a lot of you are just going to have the motivation to put into yourself. And walk away from things that just don't serve you. Or things where you're not getting what you want. But you just kept settling for it. Okay. All right. A couple Libras or people in relationships, significant partnership. Somebody walked away from you, Libra, or is walking away. You feel like they they've shut you out. The tower. Libra, somebody feels like you shut them out. Right. Bottom of the deck, the five of pentacles. Somebody feels shut out, less confident, doesn't have confidence in a situation working out, doesn't have confidence within in themselves to pull something off or pull it through. Um, there is help here. There is support. But at the same time, this is how either Libra or Another individual, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, feels about the situation at hand. Oh, five of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. All right, my single Libra, Six of Pentacles, King of Wands, Four of Swords, the Moon. All right, so it just it looks like in regards to business or entrepreneurship or something that you're doing is bringing in some money for you. It's bringing in balance too. Um, you're no longer the beggar. You're no longer the the borrower. You're the lender. You can give. You are abundant. You have been giving. It puts you in a position where you get your heart's desire. You get what you want here. You've prayed for this and you've waited. And you understand that there are some workings in the background uh, for you. Some of you doing moon magic here. So yeah, some type of magical. Some of you get some downloads at night. Some some uh, dreams. Write them down. Because it's premonition of what you want or what's to come. In regards to business and or what you, your heart's desire. See, he's run by his by him, by his heart. People would think it's the King of Cups. But this is a passionate, a fiery type of energy. Motivation also. Motivation to get out of the five of pentacles energy. Go to the six of pentacles. Finding balance in what you really love to do. And what your heart's desire is. Feeling like you're on the right path. Also getting those spiritual downloads. Some of you could be 
empaths or spiritual workers, tarot card readers, psychics. I mean, the list goes on and on. Some of you on, on break, maybe from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you guys communicate telepathically or through dreams or at night or whatever you used to meet at night. Libra wants a protector. Uh, uh, God. This person is attractive. This person, you hold them dear to you. I think you've gotten in control of um, putting them on a pedestal because of how they look. Yeah. All right. A couple Libras. Seven of Cups. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Six of Swords. Yeah. Um, for my couple of Libras, it looks as if some of you are, are working with exploratory medicines or alternative medicine remedy to for some diagnosis, some disease here. It's, it's working. It's going to bring you to a better health state. Six of Swords. You have many options. And you, you're choosing one that's getting a lot of... Um, what's the word? A lot of uh, attention in the medical field. It's getting a lot of attention. It may be different. It may be alternative. But it's going to bring you to some more, a better health, optimal health, whatever that may mean for you. Or to you. And, and then for others, there's, there's the cheating spouse, boyfriend, partner, somebody who makes promises just to break them. In which it brings you emotional confusion because they are partner partnering. Uh, building with a third party. This is more than just the the sexual affair. This is somebody who's giving money, time, energy, effort, love to another party. Um, they are building a whole life with someone else. Um, they may be staying with you out of obligation or they feel like something is there's a lot of obligation wrapped up in being in partnership with you, Libra. See, they're giving their time, energy, effort, money to two parties. You, Libra, then another. Um, they have a lot of obligations. They may have a lot of business. They may have a lot of, um, you know, they just pull it in so many different directions. They carry it well and they carry it. This is a man. Leo is coming up. Aries, Sagittarius. Um, they divide themselves. This is how they make their money. This is how they make their, their living. This is what they do. This is what they love. At times they contemplate and coming. They contemplate coming out of obligation and going to a move a new. They're doing all of this so that they can have peace and rest. In the latter part of, of life or the next phase will be for some of them either traveling or just moving away from being in a more placid state. Let's see, six of Yeah. This six of pinnacle comes in, this money, this effort, this time, whatever it may be for you. It allows you to shift focus into another path. One that may be more desirable for you. There is or was opposition. 
you may have fire in your chart Li Libra, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo or you could be dealing with a fire sign um, they gave you something or you gave them something and now somebody wants to move or someone moved away from you gave a lot to a business and now the business is going in a, to a new direction right you're just waiting to see you're trying to have a different perspective about this waiting to see what's going to happen not doing much some of you can be dealing with a Piscean person Scorpio of course Cancer Four of Swords these two cards fell out Wheel of Fortune Six of Cups some of you feel like you're destined to be with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here and you're having visions visuals dreams about what it is or what may happen between the two of you or what is to come it's destined you, you feel like you've also prayed for this or prayed about it right your family life your happy happily ever after is, is wrapped up in cancer pisces scorpio some particular person or yeah yeah it's it's divine could be a scorpio an aquarius taurus leo yeah that's what it is one more wow i think once you guys do come together whoever this person from your past or person you spent a significant amount of time with six or more years could be 10 years 16 years you've known each other for a lifetime it's time to solidify it it's time to get under some rule and regimen in regards to how you deal with each other it can't be so whimsical as it has been in past years seven of cups Three of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Yeah. Um, this is a relationship where somebody's building outside of it with someone else. Could be a Leo person with this lion here. Could be with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah. <laughs> Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're doing it behind your back. They're making plans. You put the time, energy, effort, planning behind your back, Libra. Yeah, it's a Leo person. King of Wands. Leo, Aries, Ari, Sagittarius, somebody who's after what they desire, what they want. This could be an older fire sign, an older man, a husband. He's, he's very dynamic. Nine of Cups, they're after what they wish for. They want to lay down obligation and burden. Six of Swords. Some of you get what you desire in regards to health related issues too. You have hoped, wished, and prayed for a miraculous turnaround. Six of Swords. And then the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they want to move away from Libra. This is my Libra woman or my Gemini. They want to cut something out. They want to speak truth. Right, they want. They want to go ahead and make the decision fives are changed this is hesitating before making a decision 
knowing that you need to know that you will hurt somebody because they want to offer something solid stable and lasting to maybe an air sign or it is they just want a new victorious start they feel like they can only get this by communicating with with you Libra or vice versa this is how you feel about somebody else um, we're going to continue this to get a potential outcome over on the other side okay click the link below it's one dollar fifty cent to get the potential outcome for my couple Libras and my single Libras which looks really good okay all right take care know that I'm praying for you pray for me as well I will see you in the extended reading